So we've got Mr. Ethan Gill here, and we've been uh, climbing some 45-foot poles and 40-foot poles. Those are typically narrower. He's going to go ahead and run up a 50-foot pole here, and they are much, much, much larger in size. So in order to get our butt squeeze around, we're going to go ahead and have to adjust some slack in our belt. So he's putting some slack in it there. I'm going to throw the buck squeeze around. And now that we've got that extra slack in our belt, now we're able to couple the buck squeeze. All right, good to go. All right, we still have a little bit of room here, and he's uh, got good contact with the pole. He's going to go ahead and take his measurement. And even now that we've got a much bigger pole here, we're able to adjust the measurement away with the pole with this extra slack we have right here. So he's going to let himself out a little bit more so he's got good gaff angle into the pole. All right, you feeling good there, Ethan? All right, go for it. Good flip. You notice it's not a lifting motion he's doing with his flips there. He's pushing out on the belt, then pulling up. Out, then up. Very good climbing technique. One leg is taking a break. The other leg is completely straight. That maintains a good gaff angle that's on your hooks into the pole. All right, Mr. Ethan, we'll see you later. Give us a wave. Bye, dude.